Hey, welcome back to Dark Moon Kingdom. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by, checking it out. I'm Darkwing Dave, and today we're going to take a look at a new add-on that I added to the realm. And this one is quite popular. Um, let's jump over and take a look real quick. All right, we'll just um, get started here. It's a furniture add-on by XP Games. And there are quite a few different furniture add-ons out there in the marketplace for Minecraft Bedrock, but I found that this one uh, this one works out pretty well. It's got a thousand craftable furniture blocks. Most of the furniture is functional, which means like chairs you can sit in, uh, cabinets and uh, wardrobes that you can actually place items inside, things like that. There's all sorts of stuff in this pack. Let's just take a look real quick. They've got um, some screenshots here where you can see like chairs and tables and awnings and shingles and scarecrows and new crops like tomato plants, eggplants, cabbages, new flowers. I mean, you name it. You can actually eat the food, uh, the instruments. You can play the musical instruments. There's plushies you can make and decorate. There's decorative carpets. There's candles. There's lamps that turn on and off that do put off light. I mean, the list goes on and on and on here. Let's scroll across just a little bit so you can see the other types of decor they have. They have uh, just about every piece of furniture and, and decorative item they have in every type of wood. So you can see like over here, you got the oak, you've got the um, dark oak and the mangrove stuff. And you've got, um, you know, just every type of wood like warped over here in this, this one right here. Different colored bookshelves, candle chandeliers. I mean, you just, you name it, they've got it. It's a really neat pack. It's about $8 US which is not a whole lot of money um, for an add-on like this, this quality, new staircases. I mean, there's crates of fruits and vegetables. You've got um, new types of cooking pots and ovens, and it just, the list goes on and on and on. Like, I, they don't even show you everything. There's so many things and different variants of things that you can build and create. And um, there's a camera. I haven't tried the camera yet, but <laughs> I plan on giving it a shot. If you uh, go to the marketplace, you can find it again. It's future uh, furniture add-on by XP Games. That's the important part. There's a lot of different furniture add-ons, but this one's by XP Games. So if you wanted to check it out and take a look at their video and see exactly what it is that uh, we are running on our realm now. So I'm going to jump back over to the realm real quick here. And we're going to go ahead and go into the bakery. This is where I started with my furniture. So this one had, you know, the typical stair step for chairs. We had stair steps and then like a, a fence post and a trap, uh, no, a pressure plate on top for a table. And what I've done is I've replaced it with the furniture add-on pieces. So we have two birch chairs here and an oak uh, side table, I think is what they call that one. Put a flower pot and a flower on top of it. But you can see like if we if we just uh, click on this and hop into this chair, now we're actually sitting in the chair. So if I uh, change my camera angle here, you can actually see that I'm sitting in the chair and you could sit here and have a conversation. Uh, if you're making video content like I am, you could, you know, role play things and, and do what you need to do. So it's really neat to have functional items like this. So speaking of functional items, if we take a look over here at the counter, we have these cabinets and drawers and things. So you can actually open this up. You can put stuff inside, you know, and then you can come back later. You know, your stuff is still here, safe and sound inside each one of these different types of cabinets. It looks like they hold about a, you know, a chest worth. So we have some placeable items. Like I made a placeable pumpkin pie, a placeable cookie to set on the countertop. Uh, no, we can't click them and eat them or anything, but they are decorative. It's pretty neat that you can actually place things like that. That was pretty simple. I made an oak table back here, just a little prep area. And I haven't really got to too much more. Um, I thought maybe we could do that in this episode. I'll just run over here to the Darkwing Pub. I thought, why not go through here and add some real chairs and tables? You can see right here the old school style Minecraft chairs and tables that we were talking about just a minute ago. We've got the stairs, we've got the fence post with a pressure plate and it does weird stuff like that. <laughs> so I figured what I would do is just go ahead and replace these items. And I've got a bunch of stuff on me for making furniture, but I did make a couple of things ahead of time so we could just uh, mess around with that on camera. So let's do that. Uh, go ahead and knock this out and get the uh, chairs into my toolbar here. So if we replace some of these stair steps, 
I've been wanting chairs in Minecraft for so long. I mean, we had mods like this on Java, but to have an add-on like this on Bedrock, this is actually really cool. So now you can already see the difference that it makes. You know, you look at this versus that, you know? So let's replace this one and this one. Get rid of this fake table, put a real table in. Oh wow, it's it's already starting to look amazing. Already. Let's look just go ahead and get this last table in right here. Look at that. So now we have proper tables and chairs in the pub. Whoops, I'm like climbing up the stairs here. And we also have, let's see, did I grab it? No, I did not. We have some of these mugs. These are also part of the furniture pack. So we've got an empty mug and we've got a filled mug. So I think what we'll do is uh, place the filled mug on this table and maybe, oh, that was the empty mug. We'll put the filled mug, oops, on this one right here. And you know what, let's go ahead and turn that so we can see the handle. Let's, uh, let's set it like that. There we go. So when you come in the door, you walk in, you see the tables and chairs, you see a mug right here. You come up this way, there's another mug, but I think I'm gonna move this one as well. I did not mean to break that table. Let's put that table back. All right. So if I got a mug on that side, maybe we'll set one up here at the counter, just like, you know, they're getting ready to pour it. If I could figure out how to place it correctly to where the handle is visible, there we go. I'm stuck in here. All right, so now I can see the handle. I want to be able to see these things, you know? That, that'll definitely do. I like it. I like it a lot. What else do I have in here? I've got some bedside tables. You know what? I was going to try to place these up here. We've got a couple of rooms for rent up here. And I thought, well, instead of having a, you know, just a little table like this, we'll get rid of that trap door and we'll place one of these. Just check that out, see what that looks like. Um, it actually opens, you can store stuff in it. So that's pretty neat. And if I'm going to do that, then I can probably go ahead and get rid of this barrel. And we'll put the, I already have it in my hot bar, we'll put the table in here, a little bedside table. So I'll go ahead and put a lantern on top of that. Now the other free furniture, there was a free furniture add-on that I tried before I bought this one. And you couldn't place things on top of the tables and inside of cabinets. So that one just sets this one apart, like, completely. Night and day difference. I was happy to pay the $8 for this particular add-on because it just gives you so many more options. And everything is just, you know, a lot more realistic, if I do say so myself. So I'll go ahead and replace that table as well. And, oh, we already have the lantern. Let's put the lantern right there. So now there's some storage for the guest. Put some things in. And they've got a table. Got a light in here. As well as a bed. All right. So with that done, I can look around and see if there's anything else I'd like to change or do. And obviously, this type of table or bar, you see we got this stair step back here and back in the corner. And then we've got a slab. And then I put that right there. And that's typically how you make like a, a table or a bar type of area in Minecraft. But we could also replace that with actual furniture if we like. I haven't quite decided if I want to. I do like to leave a little bit of old school Minecraft with the new furniture add-on. Uh, as you see in here, I've got, you know, I still got like a cauldron sink. They actually do have a sink. We can just take a look in the crafting table real quick. And we can look that up. So we do a search, make sure I'm looking at everything, right? Um, look at all these different sinks you could put in. So let's just look at one, for example. Uh, cherry planks, some cobble, a couple of sticks, and then you get this sink, right? But they have all the different types. Just like all the different types of wood. Ooh, a dark oak sink for Darkwing Dave. Sounds perfect. <laughs> but I don't have the stuff on me to make it, and I really do like this. This is very creative, so, I, you know, I may use the sink, I may not, I'm not sure. I, I gotta think about that. So, anyways, <laughs> moving on. My plan is to go ahead and go around to all the different shops that are in town and replace things like this chair. This chair has to go. 
we're going to put a regular chair here. Um, don't have any other furniture on me at the moment, but we could probably make some. Let's see. If I just go in here and type in chair, right, and do spruce chair. We'll come over here. We'll get rid of this hideous thing. Up over here, turn around, place the chair. That quick, that easy. Now there's a proper chair here. I can sit here and I can look at the map. I can work on mapping <laughs> cartography if I'm the cartographer, you know. Um, but there's a lot of other things I can do around here. Like this was just kind of all placed in, you know, visual um, decoration. So things like this, you could put a proper bedside table up here and maybe a cabinet. There's so much that I can actually do. I just need to go around and look at the buildings and get some ideas and, you know, try and figure it out. Put some proper chairs in this place as well. This is my little library, but it definitely needs, looks like some oak, right? So we can put some oak chairs in here. Um, I was trying to think, you know, like, what is this one? Chateau Le Drink. So for sure, another set of table and chairs here. Table and chairs out here. Maybe table and stools. They've got stools as well. You can put little stools, kind of keep it low profile. There's so many different things. So, so many different things to do. With a thousand plus new items. Oh, man. It's like completely renewed my interest in in Minecraft. You know, you, you've got... Look at this. I made this little cart. And then there was an, an option for a hay bell with a pitchfork. And I just thought, well, will it place on or in the cart? And sure enough, it does. There it is. So there's also a scarecrow. I chucked that right there. <laughs> but I guess my point is there's there's so much to do with this add-on. It's well worth the money. Over a thousand new items. A lot of stuff is interactive. It just, it makes sense to have it. You know, if you've been looking for furniture in Minecraft, uh, like I have for a very long time, then this one is all that and more. Look at these little clustered lily pads that I added. You know, those are not part of Minecraft. There's also this right here. If you can hear it. Um, little bamboo wind chime. There's a lot of different wind chimes too, like copper and steel. And I got the bamboo one, which I put over here by the bamboo. So if people are walking around by here, they hear the bamboo. <laughs> a little bit of sound effect. But anyways... So that's about all I wanted to show you guys was just that, you know, we've added this new add-on to the realm. And if you play on the realm, whenever you log in, you'll get a book in your inventory. And the book will, I don't have the book on me at the moment, but there'll be a book in your inventory and it'll go over all the different types of things that you can build. Um, at least most of them. But unfortunately, uh, I don't know if I placed that. I think it's downstairs in my workshop underground, so... I'm not going to go grab that. Just trust me. There's a little book. You go through it, and it tells you there's all these different things that it describes. But uh, there's also a um, wandering trader that comes with this one that's different from the Minecraft wandering trader. Uh, I've seen him back here, but I don't know if he's still back here or not. It doesn't look like it. He was right over here last time I saw him. But he'll actually sell you a lot of the things as well. Like, um, I bought this carrot crate. I bought these philodendron plants. I also bought seeds from him. So I could plant some of this to see what it, you know, what it would do. We've got a cabbage plant. There's a bell pepper plant. We've got tomato plant, egg plant, and then there's corn. And, of course, whenever you harvest any of these, you get the fruit. You also, or the vegetable, you also get a seed so you can replant. And you can eat them. So that's about all I've figured out to do with them so far that, I don't think they're used in any crafting recipes, but you can eat them. Um, there's also this new type of flower. I forget what this one's called. Here, let me get an open hand so we can take a look at it. It is a blazing star, is what it is. And I think there's a lot more flowers. I just bought what I could see from that wandering trader guy, so I, I don't know what else he might have. And then there's also these little clover clusters, I think is what they are. And also, they do have a crafting recipe for any of that stuff. These decorative plant type things, you can put them in a crafting table and you can hit them with bone mill uh, in the crafting table and they will multiply them so you can make more. There he is over there. Let's go check him out. Let's see what he's got. If I can get off the ground here. Here we go. Look at this guy. 
He's definitely a trader, collector, some kind of guy. It's called a merchant, is what they've called him. Uh, I don't have any emeralds on me. I was carrying them around, but anyway, there's corn seeds. I already got these. Corn, eggplant, bell pepper. The white flower I don't have. Pink lotus lily pads I don't have. That would be nice to put in the pond. Ooh, decorative spruce fence you can build. You can build a golden chandelier. And then they, you know, offers some furniture that you can also just build. But so far, it's this stuff here I think he's valuable for because you can't just make these in the crafting table. But the stuff down here you can, all the furniture. If I walk over here and get my emeralds, do you think he'll stay or will he despawn? You know how bedrock is. You turn your back on a mob and they disappear. I might have, no, I don't have any emeralds right there. Let's see, emerald blocks. I have a few emeralds in this box. He's still over there. Whoops. Crafting table. Let's grab some emeralds. All right, he's still here. He did not despawn, so that's really good. All right, guy. Yeah. All right, let's grab some of these flowers. Let's grab some of these pink lotus lily pads. And I already have seeds, so I think that's all we're going to get from you right now. Let's just try that out. Um, okay, so the flowers... Let me put my emeralds away, and we'll go back over to where I had the other flower. And we will check it out. Alright, I don't have a bridge here yet, <laughs> so we're just going to fly across. A little bit of white flower action over here. Oh look, they're low profile like the, uh, like the clover clusters are. That's pretty neat. You can do like line pathways and stuff with these type of flowers. A lot of fun. All right, let's go back over to the pond. Go here. Splash down. I'm gonna heat real quick. All right, so pink lotus lily pads. Let's see. How about right here? Wow, look at that. Oh, that's pretty neat. Very decorative. Very, very decorative. I feel like I'm just going to place them wherever I feel. Oh, you can't place there because it has the uh, seagrass right there. So it has to be an empty block of water. Let's pop one right there. How's that look? Good enough, right? Let's chuck them in at random. Could have used one back here, maybe in the corner. I don't know. So anyway... <laughs> that gives you an idea of what you can do with this. It's not just furniture. There's a lot of different decor, actually. And I was quite surprised because I was thinking, you know, furniture means furniture, right? Like tables and chairs and stuff. But then we get flowers and plants and all sorts of other things and a wandering trader or merchant, excuse me, a wandering merchant. So um, I would say that uh, this thing is uh, two thumbs up. I would definitely highly recommend. Highly recommend. So... Anyway, I'm going to get to it. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the furniture in um, all these different buildings, probably. Uh, I'm not going to swear to it, but yeah, I don't know. It's fun. So I'm, I'm going to go around and I'm going to check these buildings. And if anything, you know, uh, looks like it needs to be replaced, then I'll replace it if I like the way that the Minecraft furniture looks and I don't want to replace it, then I won't, but you know, anyway, <laughs> that's, that's how this goes. So anyway, I'm Darkwing Dave. Thanks for checking out this short little video on my recommendation for the furniture add-on by XP games. And if you like the content, you like the video, please give it a like and a subscribe and check out my other videos. I do have a world tour series playlist going. And you can find that if you look under playlists and it'll show you like all the different little farms and things we built on the server. I don't really have a let's play episode quite yet, but I'm just getting there. I'm still new. So show some love, check it out. And also check out my website, darkwingdave.com. That will lead you to all my links, my social medias, my Twitch channel. I do stream live usually on the weekends, uh, sometimes during the week. But anyway, I'll catch you later. Take care.